Hey, it's me, Sarah, Sarah Stovetop. I'm your Pampered Chef, and I am here to talk about Tool Time Tuesday, episode 101, so 101 episodes, and I'm so glad you're here. So, I'm tonight, instead of cooking, I'm gonna show you some of the brand new tools that have come out from Pampered Chef and that, that I've got it in, uh, you know, assembled here on the table. We've talked about some of them, I've shown you some recipes with some of them, but this is just purely just to show you what is what. So I thought maybe um, I'd start with things that you can cook with, that you add to your already prepared um, foods, or help you prepare them. So we've got a couple of like consumable items. So we've got the, um, let's see, we call them the meal starters. Um, and they are sauces that help you make a meal, basically. So you, you start with your, your meat and you add the sauce. Instead of like 10 ingredients, it's all in this little jar. Well, it's not such a little jar, it's 12 ounces. But anyways, ooh, I can't you know, I've not been able to turn this around. Let me try and see if it'll let me. It's not letting me turn it around, so I don't understand why. So it's backwards, but this is the bolognese sauce. So basically all you do with this is have your ground meat, put it in your pan or your quick cooker, um, or even you can use the slow cooker as well. And you um, saute the meat, so it's browned a little bit, and then you add the sauce, and you let it cook. So pretty simple. So that's the same idea for the um, beef bourguignon, which is, I've tasted that one, it's delicious. And there's a third one which I had the other night and haven't gotten a replacement for yet, and that's called the ginger sesame. Now these are great sauces, we've done all the work for you, and so you can look like a fabulous cook without having to um, do a lot of cooking. So that's a pretty easy thing. Um, the meal starter set, if you get all three, is only $35. If you want just one individually, it's $15. So we give you a bit of a break, you know, on um, a $10 break if you get three at the same time. So great tools. I, it's a great tool in your kitchen because you can keep it in your cabinet. You can have dinner in like 15 minutes. Not bad. Okay, so that's one thing that you can do as far as um, actual cooking goes, um, some uh, food stuff. Then you've got this other thing, which is really cool and new. It's called Enrichables. And this is my starter set. The Enrichables are packets of uh, food that basically, it's our, our motto is your dishes more nutritious. So basically, this is something you would add to a sauce or oatmeal, or a smoothie, or um, let's see, a salad dressing, a drink, pasta sauce, rice, um, batters and doughs, or ground meat. So it, it adds either protein, which is our pea protein. Hold on, let me find one, find a packet of pea protein for you. Here's our pea protein, 10 grams of per packet of pea protein. And it's basically yellow peas. So all it is ground up, okay? And then we've got the kale and fiber packet also. This is two cups of kale that's been freeze dried. And they've, they've also added, um, I think it's 0.8 ounces of, of um, chicory root fiber. And that's a prebiotic. It's what feeds the um, good, um, Oh, what are those called? The good things in your gut. So they need to eat something, so you give them um, chicory root powder, and it's a source of inulin, which you'll find in a lot of like fiber bars and things like that. So these are really, I haven't tried the kale and fiber yet, but I have tried the pea protein. The more protein you add to a meal, the fuller you're gonna feel for, uh, and it'll stay with you longer. That's one of the ideas behind protein. And we wanna have protein throughout the day. So we'll have a whole Tool Time Tuesday about our, um, our enrichables, but I just wanted to show them to you. 
You can get them as a subscription as well as individual as an individual box box worth. And each box, wait, where hold on, where's my little thing? Okay. Um, each box, so pea protein or the kale and fiber, each box holds 12 packets and then they're $29 each. If you wanted to get both of them together, we give you a break on the price, it's $49. Um, so you save $9, which is pretty nice. Um, it's also available as a subscription and you don't pay any um, shipping, free shipping for the subscription of the Enrichables. So I'm gonna move on. That's a pretty cool thing though. I'm really excited about those. I had one in my smoothie last, uh, the other day and it was delicious. I couldn't even tell it was in there. Put the protein in. Okay, so a couple other things. My, one of my new faves is called the Quick Shred. It's these two, they're at, you, they can act as meat lifters as well as for shredding tools for um, pulled pork or pulled chicken. Um, I also, you can also use it to slice meat. So see these different prongs? You can put it up like this and you put your knife in between each prong and it evenly slices, your, you can evenly slice your meat. I used it the other day on raw meat, but you also can use it on cooked meat. I also, also have used it on cooked meat. I will post the video that I made using this for um, slicing up some raw meat. It was really, I was really excited about it. And I what a couple things I like about it, they are magnetic as well as they go in the dishwasher. This is a great tool and great for lifting also your turkey or roast. Um, let me make sure I got everything right. Okay, so I will post the video below this um, video when I get a chance to <laughs> after we're done. But this is a great tool. I, um, I have a lot of people interested in this. Okay, so that's the um, quick shred. Oh, and I didn't tell you the price, $25. It's a really good price too. Okay, so here, I'm gonna actually turn this down so you can see, I think you can see here, all my notes and everything. Okay, this is the baking rack, $24, and it goes really well in the half sheet pan, and you can get that as a set uh, for $52. Um, uh, what I love about it, folds up nice and flat, so you can store it, and these, um, they've got little feet on it, little silicone feet, so that it doesn't scratch your pans. Really a nice, really nice baking rack. And it keeps your food elevated so that you, um, so that the drippings, you know, it's not sitting in the drippings. And I made, um, let's see, flank steak tacos a couple weeks ago in this. It was so delicious. So you put your sliced vegetables on the bottom of the pan, your marinated meat on top on this rack, and as it cooks and drips a little bit, that marinade kind of it adds a little flavor to your veggies. So it's a really, really nice, um, really nice combination, especially with um, all the holidays coming up and a lot of holiday cooking coming up. This is gonna be a great set. And then of course you could use your meat lifters to take the meat off the rack. How about that? All right, so that is the baking rack. Uh, the baking rack and the half sheet pan set is $52. If you wanted the rack on its own, it's $24. The half sheet pan, 32. There's also a set with the tortilla warmer and the quick shred and the instant read food thermometer, which I'm gonna show you right now, the instant read food thermometer. Okay, I used this baby in the oven um, in my uh, flank steak while I was cooking it on the rack. So I basically took the probe, stuck it in the meat. It's got this very long cord that attaches to, I'll show you, there's a little um, flap there, see the hole, attaches right in there. And then, let's see if I can turn it, where did I turn it on? Oh, right there. Of course it's backwards. It says, oh, it's 79 degrees here. <laughs> so it's like immediate. Oh, and by the way, um, you so you put it, stick it in the meat and then you can, um, have it outside your oven, and so you'll be able to read the thermometer in the, uh, in the meat inside the oven, but this is outside the oven. So how cool is that? It has a magnet on it, so if you wanted to 
Um, so you can see it's a magnet because it's holding that. You want it to attach it to the outside of your oven. It does. It it works just great with that. You don't need to use this though. You can do it as an instant read thermometer, and it has a probe right here. And look at how it opens up. And you can just stick that in the meat and read it instantly. Now it says it's 87 degrees. I guess it's warming up in here. Now it's down to 86, 85. So it works pretty quickly. 84, it's going back. Must have taken my temperature from my hands. Isn't that funny? Hi, Linda. Thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up. Glad to see you're here. So that's the instant read thermometer. I am loving this. And I, we've had some other thermometers and this one is by far the best. Oh, by the way, this is for opening bottles, like beer or soda bottles. And, um, oh, this is like a, a little flap so you could put it on your belt, I guess, if you wanted. It's a good, good, um, that's a good gift for Father's Day, I think, if you're thinking ahead. Or for, you know, the holidays. Um, it also tells you what temperature each type of meat should be. And unfortunately, because I can't turn it around for whatever reason, um, you're not gonna be able to see that. But uh, for beer, absolutely, Linda. <laughs> um, so it, uh, it tells you what temperatures are ideal for each type of meat, so pork, fish, beef, or lamb, and um, chicken or turkey. So this is a really, I'm really pleased with this. Um, I think they've done a really good job with this one. Um, obviously not dishwasher safe, you're gonna have to hand wash the things. So um, it's $49, but I think it's well worth it to have, be able to tell the temperature of your meat. Okay, so that's the instant read food thermometer. And we've talked about the baking rack. Okay, next up, quick cooker um, uh, new tools. So I just have the steamer baskets, the quick cooker steamer baskets. These are stackable, which I think is great. So you could put um, your, let's say your broccoli on the bottom and your carrots on the top or whatever, or, or you could do um, uh, shrimp or something else. I mean, you could do anything in there. And these fit inside of each other or separately. You can put one in the quick cooker. They fit in the quick cooker. You can also use them in a pot, obviously, on the stove top if you want. They have a little silicone sleeve on the handle so you won't burn yourself. And um, these, I think, are really good. They have, um, there's two different sizes. So one is, let's see, the small one is seven inches in diameter and three and a half inches deep. And the large one is seven and three quarters inches in diameter and five and a half inches deep. So perfect for your veggie steaming in your quick cooker and you know that that is um, the best way to um, retain your uh, vitamins in your, the nutrients in your vegetables by steaming them really quickly in the quick cooker. So that is, oh, and the steamer baskets are $21. So that's that. I'm trying to get through these as fast as possible so that I don't keep you too late. Uh-oh, no, I gotta keep going. Okay, so if you're a baker, you're gonna be impressed with this one. This is called the Boat Press Set. So you know you can make, um, let's see, oh, I'll show you, hold on. I've got my loaf pan here. You could make little loaves. Then you take this and see how it, it will press into it, right in there, press in, and then you can fill it. So you could make like a filled um, meat loaf and fill it with um, mashed potatoes. You could make, and then it has three different um, sizes. So one is for the loaf pan, the mini loaf pan. One is for the brownie pan. And then this is for muffin pan. So you can fill like the muffins or the brownies with you know, your favorite um, filling, like you could put whipped cream or some, some lovely uh, sliced up strawberries, that kind of thing. So I think it's kind of a cool little set. If you're a baker, this will appeal to you. Um, and it's $14.50 and it fits, you get three different uh, things with it. So if you have the brownie pan and you have the loaf, mini loaf pan and you have a uh, mu muffin pan, you got it. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so that was $14.50. The next one up, oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. If you have kids that do not like to eat um, the crusts of bread, we have 
your new Uncrustable Maker. Instead of the round one that we used to have, it's called the Cut and Seal, and it's a new shape. Now it is square, which actually fits better with most loaves of bread. So when you're using this, you, you're making your sandwich, you've got two, two pieces of bread, and you wanna use kind of a soft bread so that it smushes together better, and you wanna put about two tablespoons of filling, so not, not, not a lot, you, uh, maybe peanut butter and jelly, a tablespoon of each. And of course you can make jam in, I'll show you what next. Um, anyways, you use this to, you put the sandwich together and you use this to squish it down and see these little teeth in here, that is what crimps it together. You could also make gigantic wontons or um, raviolis with this. So you can make, you could do, use that for raviolis, you could use it for pies, or little tarts, so kind of a fun shape. And of course you could um, do half of it, or like a tri, well not really, yeah, I guess you could do a triangle type shape also, um, just folding it over. So kind of think about that, that's a really fun thing. And of course for kids who don't like crusts on their, on their uh, sandwiches, that's helpful too. So it's only $12, so you can make appetizers, pastries, tarts, crustless sandwiches. Just a little great idea. All right, so that's, um, I already told you about that. Okay, then these are kind of fun. So if you need some little serving spoons, these are really cute. They're little mini serving spoons. They have, um, we have one in silver, rose gold, and regular gold. And they're all, this is a set of three, and they're $9.50. Think of this, it would be a great topper for a um, Christmas or Hanukkah present. So you know, you just wrap your present, put a bow around it, and you put the, you wrap this in there. It'd be kind of fun, and like, it's just a fun thing. Especially if you're giving gifts, like I'm gonna be giving jam a lot for uh, the holidays this year, so I might get a bunch of these to, to um, wrap them with. That would be a great, great thing. So we've got uh, three spoons, they're five inches long, and they're $9.50 for the set of three, so it's a little over $3 each, okay? So that's the mini spoon set. Okay. Uh, speaking of spoons, we have the metal straw and spoons. So these also come in some different colors. You've got a rose gold and a regular gold and then two um, silver ones. And you can see there's a spoon, but it's also a straw. So this is great for your smoothies that start out kind of thick and you want to eat them that way. And then once they kind of um, melt a little bit, and then you can just suck them up with <laughs> with that. And or great for stirring iced tea, kind of anything. And it comes with not only not only the spoons, but you've got a little cleaning brush with it, and a little packet to hold them in. So these are great. You could also do this as a as a gift um, as a gift topper as well. Um, they're a little bigger. They're actually 10 inches long, and see how if they fit in here, and they just a little drawstring. It's kind of a nice, this would make a great teacher gift, I think. Um, so like I said, you get one gold, one rose gold, two silver ones, they're 10 inches long, with the cleaning brush and the nylon storage bag, and they're $19.50. So that's kind of a fun tool, also, or fun gift idea. Let's see, what else have we got, okay. We've got the Seasons Best Cookbook, always, always a crowd pleaser for two dollars. It's a great like thank you gift, a hostess gift, just to give that. Um, and you, fifteen of our favorite recipes. You've got appetizers, dinners, and desserts in here. And um, actually, I want to show you what I made. Was let's see, where is it? Ah. <laughs> what I made on the oh my goodness, where is it? Where is it? Of course, it's never when you want to find it. Oh, here we go. The flank steak tacos I was telling you about that I made using the um, grill. Um, there it is. They were so delicious. Okay. The last thing I think I have to show you. Oh, I wanted to tell you the, um, the cocktail shaker set is only available now with all the tools. You can't get them individually. But still, this is a great holiday gift. And it's, I think it's 100, 
103 now. So that one I didn't write down. <laughs> but it comes with not only the shaker, but also the jigger and the, whoops, <laughs> and the, muller, the muddler, you know, for smushing the herbs um, or the fruit the little swizzle spoon, and of course the strainer, really important when you're making a cocktail. So that is, um, so that's the news on that one. Someone was asking me about it and I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that it was, it's only available in the set now. The last thing I wanna show you, of course, is the deluxe cooking blender, which is like my favorite tool right now and just like having so much fun with it. So let me move it closer so that I can pull it down, put, uh, show you by pulling down the, whoop. Okay, so here we go. Oh, hey there. I haven't seen an episode in a while. Thank you, Sayamo, I'm so glad you joined us. So I'm, I'm showing uh, some of our new tools and um, I'm almost done, but let me show you the deluxe cooking blender. So this is an amazing new tool. It's very different than, it's very different than some of the other like high-end blenders that are out there because it actually has a heating element in it so it really does cook it can go up to 220 degrees um, and so like when you're making a soup you actually see it boiling because boiling point for water is 212 um, it has of course you can make smoothies you can make soups you can make alternative milk so like I made um, almond milk the other day and it was delicious and you can actually taste the almonds instead of some of the almond milks are you know, much milder in flavor. Um, and because of that, they give you a special little mesh pouch that you put, you pour the almond milk through to get the sediment from the almonds. But it only takes one cup of almonds and like five cups of water to get about a quart, a little over a quart of almond milk. So pretty cost effective. And of course you know what you're getting because it's only the almonds and water. Um, you can add some sweetener if you like sweetener. I don't like it sweetened. But anyway, so it comes with the, the um, mesh bag. It also comes with a, um, a tamping tool. And this is for when you're making nut butters. That's on the grind setting. So you can make, excuse me, you can make, um, you know, peanut butter or almond butter, cashew butter, that kind of thing. So this, is, this goes into, and I'm gonna turn this down so you can see. See in here, you would just use the tamper when it's on and press it down like that, okay? The other thing that I just figured out is this little part. This is a boil over guard. So when you're making like a soup or something um, and you're at high altitude, there's a chance it will boil over. So this is to protect or to allow it, give it some extra space to boil over. Haven't we thought of everything? <laughs> I just think that's so cool. So, and that fits right in the lid. I'm gonna actually take it off to show you. So, you, so it fits right in the lid. And so basically, if it's boiling up, it'll go into this instead of boiling over. So I think that's really cool. And it fits right in the lid and you can take it out really easily. Um, other thing it comes with is a little cleaning tool the dual-sided cleaning brush, and I couldn't find the one that actually came with it, but this is one I had, um, which I love. So if you know, if there's a little crusty stuff on it, but it shouldn't because it has a self-cleaning mode. Self-cleans itself. You, it, you actually have a setting for cleaning. Check it out. So I don't, oh, maybe you can't see it. So we've got smoothie, we've got alt milk, like talked about grind, heated wash like five minutes and it's, it's clean. You put, a, you put three cups of water, a couple drops of liquid detergent, you know, your, your um, dish detergent, you set it and you go. And it, um, it takes, it heats it up because it's got that heating element in it and then it's, it's done. Now sometimes if it's like peanut butter or something like that, it might be a little sticky. That's why you use the, um, the cleaning tool. But aside from that, it's pretty self-cleaning. You still have to rinse it, of course. And um, the lid can go in the dishwasher if you want. Okay, what else? Uh, let's see. Makes a heated puree and sauces. Has a sauce setting. It has a jam setting. So I made 
strawberry jam and I've made um, peach jam and they are fabulous and basically all you have to do is put your um, is put your your fruit in and uh, and um, excuse me fruit in and the pectin and then it blends it and cooks it because it's got the heating element in it cooks it cooks it cooks it blends it and then it says add and then you add the sugar and the act of adding the sugar and then it heating it up that's what makes it into the jam and so when you pour it into the little you know glass jars it as it cools it um, thickens and it is so delicious now you can keep it in the refrigerator or in the freezer and it'll last in the freezer for like six months in the refrigerator for a month but boy it doesn't last that long really I mean you'd have to like go on vacation for it to last that long <laughs> honestly it's so good so just an idea a couple of ideas so you can make smoothies dips jams like I said alternate milks nut butters from scratch okay there's also a booklet that comes with it, a cooking guide with over 60 recipes in it. And we're talking delicious recipes. I made um, butternut squash soup with pumpkin seed granola. Doesn't that look delicious? And believe me, it was. It was a big hit. My in-laws came for dinner the other night and they liked it. I made some broccoli cheddar soup also. Um, let's see. I Oh. If you have kids that don't like to eat their vegetables, but they'll eat spaghetti sauce, we've got a hidden veggie marinara sauce, marinara pasta sauce that's delicious. And so that's in here. And then of course, there's a nacho cheese sauce, which I haven't tried yet because I'm really trying to be good <laughs> about not eating too much. But the jams are great. I've made smoothies. Um, there's a chocolate cherry skillet cake recipe with a sauce on there and then of course you can do any kind of custom blending and there's a heated bl heated um, blending thing uh, there, you can use a heated setting as well as just a plain blending setting um, for like milkshakes and um, you can make nice cream which is basically just fruit um, and alternative milk um, or you can of course make drinks in it like margarita, frozen margarita, frozen strawberry daiquiri, but those are just a couple of the recipes that are in here. So it comes with a fabulous book. Okay, so I've wasted, I, oh my gosh, I've gone way over time. <laughs> I'm so excited about all the new tools. So I would love for, love to hear which ones you like. Feel free to, um, type in the comments and let me know which, uh, which of these tools appeal to you. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them, of course. And um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, I'll be here next week on Tool Time. No, yeah, oh, um, yeah, I will be here next week on Tool Time Tuesday. Um, it's Sarah Stove Talk. I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you, uh, maybe next week I'll make something. I'm going to put it, post it, and you guys can decide what, I'll give you a choice, this or that kind of thing. Um, and then you can let me know what you think I should make. Maybe I'll make a jam. Maybe I'll make a smoothie. <laughs> or who knows. But anyways, we'll see you next week at 9.15 on Central Time on Tool Time Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. And feel free to share this with anybody who you think might be interested in some of these awesome Pampered Chef tools. Oh, I have one more thing I want to tell you. I forgot. So for the month of October, which is coming up next week, I guess, um, you can get that cooking blender instead of for, it's normally $349, you can get it for $139.60. When you have a Pamper Jeff fun cooking party or virtual party with me, and I'll tell you how to do that. So please let me know if that's interesting to you and I will be able to set you up. So thanks for joining me on Tool Time Tuesday. This is Sarah Stovetop signing off from episode 101, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.